Hey, welcome back to Drum Bits, everybody. Let's talk about crash cymbals. Now, crash cymbals, chinas, um, they're all effect cymbals, right? They're all to make accents happen in your music and in your drum beats. Well, <clears throat> the most typical place to play a crash would be on D1. It's usually what people are doing when they're, when they're grooving. on one. Okay. Well, I want to talk about crashing on other beats because you can crash on other beats of the measure and it'll sound pretty cool. So I'll give you a few ideas, a few tips on crashing. Um, instead of crashing on beat one all the time, think about crashing on beat two, which would be on your snare hit. Okay. You can get used to doing this by crashing on beat one, but also adding it to beat two, and then you take one away, all right? So I think this is how I originally learned it. Um, it just kind of happened for me when I was playing with bands all the time. So I would play a groove, and I, and, uh, I might do a fill, and I'd crash on one, but then I would crash on two as well. All right, so kind of like this. I'll use the crash cymbal and the china for two different sounds. I, that way you can kind of tell the difference. But... Um, Kind of like this. One, two, three, oh. So with that, if you notice, I'm crashing on one still, but I'm actually putting an accent on the two to make that two a little heavier. And in some musical cases, it, uh, it actually makes sense in the music. Um, it doesn't have to be a china. I just played a china here. It could be a crash where you're playing. We take that one away. different flavor, right? You get the accent on two and all of a sudden kind of sucks back in. Your groove sucks back into one and then accents on the two. I think it sounds pretty cool. You could try it with a simpler beat. Let's, let's stick simple and play crash on one, crash on two, or China on two. It's up to you. back to the hi-hat instead of just stopping on the kick drum if you want to after you fill. Maybe put an open hi-hat in there. You can do an open hi-hat. Okay, or just a hi-hat hit to kind of take the place of that crash. It's really up to you. Mix it up. Try it. You're going to find out some cool stuff that you can do that you didn't even think about. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing with these drum bits, you can go to my website, www.pwd.com, and see more in-depth, longer lessons. Uh, I will be posting some of those, and you can download them. So go check them out.